In this video, we are going to see how to dockerize our Angular application and deploy it in Heroku. We will go step by step to create an Angular project and dockerizing that project and deploying it in Heroku. At the end of this video, you will be seeing your app hosted in Heroku and you can also see the changes reflected. Now let's quickly jump into the video. First, let us create an Angular application. ng new Angular app. I have named the app as Angular app. Our application has been created. We will navigate into the folder. Let us build this application. Our application has been built successfully. Our project has been generated here, it's Angular app. Now we will see the Heroku deployment steps. I have five steps created here. First step, we need to install Express and create server.js. So it's basically uh, to make our application run via node. Instead of running via ng serve, we need to run our application via node server.js because that is how a Heroku supports. So since we are going to use the primary language as node in Heroku, for that we need to make our application to run as to run via node. First, let us install Express. We have Express installed. Now let us create the server.js file. Create it at the root of the application. I have my server.js file already written. So let me copy that. Let us save this. Okay, here if you could see I am, I am importing the package Express and I am creating an instance for that app. Here we are pointing our dist folder. So here our dist folder contains a project named Angular app. So this was the project we have created. So we are pointing that here for the express to run our application. Then whenever any routing comes, this will be redirected to index.html in this root. So here this is the root index.html and here we are listening to the process environment port otherwise uh, the default port 8080 so the next step is to update the package.json to change the scripts since our application will be running via ng serve we need to change it to run it via node and also we need to add engines to uh, to support heroku so let us go to package.json here instead of ng serve change it to node server.js and save it. Now let us add the engines. So in the engines we need to mention node and the npm versions. So let us check our node version and the npm version. So now let us add the engines. and npm it is not mandatory but it is better to give the engine version so now the next step is to create the docker file so let us create the docker file 
inside this folder angular app so now the next step is to create the docker file always follow the same naming convention the d should be caps so we have created the docker file i have my uh, code al i have my code already written so let me copy that code here i have copied my docker code so first of all why do we need docker basically docker makes uh, things a lot more easier so docker is a containerization platform basically it runs application bundled with operating systems and all the libraries and dependencies required to run your application here in the first line i am pulling alpha version of linux image along with a node here make sure the node version you are running in your machine is same as this one otherwise you will be end up in facing version compatibility issues and in this line i am creating the working directory so the next one is and in this line i am copying all the package.json and package log.json file then we are doing npm install to install all the dependencies mentioned in the package.json and in this step we are copying all the source code of the application and here we are building our application that will generate a dist folder for us and this docker file is a multi stage file so this is the stage 1 and here this is the stage 2 here in this line we are pulling nginx web server for the alpha version here in this line all our codes will be written inside dist folder and in the name of angular app so let us change it to angular app and we are copying all the codes inside this angular app into this nginx folder in this line we are copying our nginx conf to the required location for the web server conf file so here let us create the conf file for us i have my conf file already written let me copy that here we are listening to the dynamic port here we have mentioned the location of our project root let us save this file and in the last line we are finding dynamic port number to serve our application and writing it to nginx conf file now let us save this docker file so this is what we have to do for the docker file so that's all about creating the docker file so now we have completed these four steps the next step is to set up the heroku so for that first let us create an account in heroku So open signup.heroku.com here you can create your own free account so fill up all the details and select the primary language as node.js then click on creating the account since i have my account already set up i i am not creating the account now once you have created the heroku account now let us install heroku in our machine to install heroku in our machine npm install iphone g heroku this will install heroku globally you can also do it locally by removing iphone g since i have a uh, heroku installed in my machine globally i am not installing it now once you have installed you can check the heroku version here i am getting the heroku version which means i have a heroku installed in my machine now the next step is to do the heroku login you can press any key except a q okay it has been redirected me to the login page so click login once you are logged in go back to the code here you can see that you are logged in the next step is to do the container login heroku container colon login so we got login succeeded the next step is to create the app to create the app type heroku create this will create an app for us by default heroku allows up to creating five apps for free so here i got my app created let us copy this this will be useful whenever you want to push your code into this existing app let us save this now the next step is to create a docker image of our application so to make sure uh, you have docker installed in your machine let us check a docker iphone iphone version
yes i have the docker installed in my machine if you don't have docker installed in your machine you can check out my another video on how to install docker in your machine now let us create an image for this project docker build iphone t now here the registry of the heroku we need to give registry.heroku.com then the name of the application so our name of the app is morning rich okay then the standard is slash web so this is what the naming standard should be then dot so here we are creating a image for this project in the name of registry.heroku.com slash morning rich slash web Here this step will execute all the steps we have written in our docker file. So here it is pulling the node and also nginx. Now we have our docker image has been created. Let us check our docker image. So here we have our docker image. Let us push this image into Heroku registry docker push the name of the image. Here it is. So this is registry.heroku.com and the morning rich we have created. Okay, now our image has been pushed. Now the next step is to release the container. Heroku container colon release web iPhone A and the name of the app. So the name of the app is Morning Ridge. Then press enter. Okay, now our image has been released. So you can directly access the app by going this link or also we can uh, use Heroku to redirect us. Heroku. Heroku. Open. iPhone A. And the name of the app. Press enter. Okay, now our application has been opened and it is hosted in Heroku. So this is how you dockerize your Angular application and also deploy it in the Heroku. Now if you want to make some changes and deploy into the same app, then what is the step? You need to ignore one step and do the remaining steps. Let us see that. Now let me make some changes in the code. I'll remove this template. We'll add okay let me save it now we will we don't need to uh, do the login again because we have already logged in into the command prompt so we don't need to do a uh, heroku login or heroku container login then the next step is heroku create since we have our app already created that step also we need to ignore so then another step is to create the docker image then i will directly create the docker image so here is the step we have followed so let us do the same okay our image has been created so this time uh, this time the build ran little faster than before so uh, now we have to now we have to push this image we'll see the step we have already did so this is what we did let us push it Okay, our image has been pushed. Now uh, release the container.
now we will open our application okay now we can see our changes has been reflected thanks for watching this video if you have learned something new from this video please do subscribe us this will help us to grow this channel and also this will motivate us to put more content and if you have any queries or doubts related to this video or you wanted to learn anything specific topic please comment in the below comment box i will make a video on it until then signing off vijay selvam see you on our next video